In this video, we're going to add a M.2, this is going to be a 2 terabyte Crucial T500 to the newly released PlayStation 5 Pro. I like to add this at the start. So to do this, if you have the vertical stand installed, you're probably going to want to remove that first so you can lie the PlayStation 5 Pro flat on a table. The M.2 is going to be on this side of the console right here. So we need to... We need to lay the console flat away from us, and then from behind it, we're going to pull up on it like this, so it comes off toward us. Remember, this is the back of the console, this is the front of the console. So now it's basically, it looks like that. So we can now see the fan, as well as the little bay where the M.2 slot goes. With the panel off, it reveals where the SSD would go. So this requires a Phillips head to remove the screw. It's a very long screw. And then kind of get at it from here where there's a cutout there to take this flap off or this cover. And then that reveals where the M.2 would go. In this case, we're going to be installing the Crucial T500. This one meets the minimum. Uh, originally, they said it needs to be 7,000 or better on the read. They kind of, Sony over the years has backtracked on that. Now it's more like 5,500 Gen 4 SSDs would work. But this is the Crucial T500. It has the proper heatsink clearance. Now, the way it's going to go in, where you see the green, that's where it's going to plug in. So you need to line that up. That's going to go down. And then we need to get the screw. So the screw comes out and there's like a little spacer in here. You can see, oh, is that magnetic? It's not magnetic. So it's probably just aluminum. So you're going to take the spacer and that needs to go, that needs to go under, it needs to go in the hole where the SSD would go, where the screw's going to go. So I'm going to take this out. So it's going to be this one. They give you the numbers. So it can be a, a 22, 110, 2280, which is the standard size. So it's going to be the one we're going to use. 60, 40, and 30 if they're smaller. So I'm going to put this over 80 like that. And then we're going to put this back in. And let's see where it lines up nice. And we're just going to put the screw back on. Okay, that is in, and now we just need to cover this back up, like so, and then put the original, the large screw back on, and that's it. To put the flap back on, we're going to line these three here and then these four you're going to line that up and you're just going to reverse the reverse it back into where the way it went originally and that's it it kind of clicks into place and that's it so now we have a ps5 pro with four terabytes of storage two internal plus two from that m.2 once you have the playstation 5 reconnected to your TV or capture card or monitor, whatever you have. Now, the first thing it's going to do when you power it on, it's going to say to use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format your SSD, all data on it will be deleted. So just make sure that this doesn't have anything on it that you're going to want to keep because it is going to wipe it completely. If you were upgrading from a Pro from the original PS5, you actually don't have to buy a new M.2. You can, if you have an M.2 in your old console, you can just remove it from the old console and install it in the new Pro and it will work. So there is that. So this is really only for people who are just now getting into the ecosystem or they're getting an M.2 for the first time and they're adding it to either a PlayStation 5 or a PS5 Pro. So we're going to go ahead and format the M.2 SSD. It's going to go ahead and format it. And there it says the read speed is as follows. So it's, it tells me my read speed is 5,753. That does meet their minimum of, I believe, 5,500. However, this Crucial T500 is rated for 7,400. So I don't 
really agree with PlayStation's benchmark. I have tested a Micro Center branded inland SSD, and they said that one was like 6,500 or whatever, and that one was also rated for 7,000. So that's pretty much it. The M.2 has been formatted. Now we can go to settings, storage, and installation location to add games. And with that, we're ready to go and start gaming on the PlayStation 5 Pro. All right, so in the storage settings, after adding that, now we have, it shows here, CT2000 T500 SSD. So this is that SSD. You can see it is two terabytes of storage. The console storage is about 1.9 terabytes of storage. So altogether, I have basically four terabytes of storage now between both the console and the M.2. So you can also use a USB extended storage if you need more storage. That's typically useful for PlayStation 4 games because those don't require the insane bandwidth that the NVMe and M.2 offer from the, the new flash controller that the Sony PlayStation offers. You can also specify an install location so you can either say, hey, I want my PS5 games to go to the console or you can alternatively say M.2 and vice versa for the PS4 games and apps. Hope you guys found this video useful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.